hello guys welcome back to our channel so guys today i have my lovely mother-in-law here with me you guys have been asking about granny so she's here to make a video so drop me a comment in the comment section if you want to see more of her i'm sure you guys want to see more of her but yeah she only does she only come here when she has a time to come so and today's video you know what we're going to be doing yeah. Question and answer. So it's like a Q and A with Granny, yeah. And then your last video, right? Everybody was like, "That color really suited you, Thank suits you. you." Is it suited you or suits you? Suits that you. color really, suits yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that 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 color really suits you, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So we're going to go into the video. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to drop us a like. Drop us some comments in the comment section and remember to subscribe to this lovely channel. So, Granny, you're looking at the questions. <laughs> okay, let me start with the first question. Okay, so the first question is when you heard that David and I were talking, what was your opinion? Sorry? When you heard that I was talking to David, like when you heard that David was talking to me, you know, like. What was your opinion? You know, like the first time you heard he's talking to someone, did you know my skin color or you just knew it was a girl? Or... I just knew it was a girl. Okay. Ah. That's all. <laughs> which was um, amazing. <laughs> okay, he didn't say whether it was black or white. He didn't say anything. Oh, that's really good, guys. That's really interesting. Okay, you knew it was a girl, but then you were like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I knew it was a girl. <laughs> not, not a guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when we first okay what was your first impression of me when you first met me so i remember the first time i met you was we came to the house yeah so what was your first impression okay by the time i came to meet you did you know my color then like yes. you knew of course you must have known yeah alan told me yeah okay okay because <laughs> by right. then you knew somebody was coming and yeah. obviously you, yeah. you know curiosity you'd be like no yeah. who is she yeah yeah okay so what was your first impression? Oh, you were very glamorous. Just be honest though. Be honest. Very Where glamorous. Is... Yeah, guys, I really dressed up to come for that trip because I can't be looking like a mad person or yeah. a piece of rag. Extremely <laughs> slim. Oh, yes! Ah! What happened to me? What do I do? Three know. children later. <laughs> Extremely slim and glamorous, yeah? So when you I saw know. me, you were just like, hmm, okay. Yeah. But were you thinking, oh, this might lead to something? You're just like, maybe this is just a friend. Or you I didn't, just blank. I didn't know. Yeah, okay, yeah. you didn't think of anything. No, no, but David had never brought anybody to the house before. So oh, so I'm the first person. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm the first person to enter that house. Yeah. Can you beat that? So, yeah. So I knew you had to be special. Oh, thank you. And the next question is, why did you name David, David? Because I started, I didn't, we didn't know what to call him. And <laughs> then I started um, going into labor on the 1st of March, which ah. is St. David's Day. He wasn't actually born until the 2nd, ah. but that's why. Oh, ah, so St. David's Day, okay. Yeah. And... Um, what do you see in Alicia, Jasmine, and Naomi? Yeah, that reminds you of David when he was young. Or is there nothing? What do you see that, that reminds you? It's difficult to say. I yeah. think um, maybe because they are girls, right? Because they're girls. Yeah, yeah. They're like actually what... Alicia's like me. Ah. And when you were small. I think so. Um, yeah, Alicia looks like Alicia looks like you. Yes. And David looks like. His mom, so yeah, like three of them, yeah. <laughs> and Naomi is beginning to look like you guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. she looks um, yeah, that's like like me. She's and Jasmine like, looks like my mom. Yes, it's, it's honestly much. like yeah. people say it. Even yes. people that see it on WhatsApp, they're like, yeah. "Oh my!" Like the two of them look like your mother-in-law, and the other one looks like it's just yes, yes, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So nothing really reminds you of, apart from the children eating snacks. Yeah, they about. eat a lot. <laughs> A lot. Oh, one um, second that one snacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There were um yes. Um I think it's because of the gender. I think gender yeah. makes a big difference. 
and circums how things are now. The boys played outside. Sides now, everybody's with iPads. When you live in the country, yes, they didn't have iPads and, oh. and restricted television and things like that. I feel like then was good. I it wish was. we could go back. It was Guys, I wish we could good. go back, yeah. But they will be well informed, the children of today. You know, because they I know, so but much. it's good and yes, bad in a way. Yes, yes. Um, Don't you think the children of back in the days were not well informed? Maybe in school they were. Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. They'll be yeah. well informed because yeah. they are kind of finding out things themselves. Yes, they're much more. Um, Let's, maybe, uh, how do I say it? Maybe open. Yeah, they're more open yeah. and they're more confident nowadays yeah, nowadays. than we were. Yeah. yeah, they are more confident. I was brought up in a. You know, my granny was said children should be seen and not heard. Heard? <laughs> what is this? You hear children instead of seeing them. You're right though. Yeah. yeah. Because children of these days feel they know you, so yes. everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's a problem. Um, it is. It yeah, is a problem. They, it is. They can be um there's there's got to be a balance. Yeah. There has to be. Between them. I wish we could go back to back then when you don't look at your phone. Like I know I'm uh, guys I'm well, I say I'm guilty as charged. Absolutely. I'm always like looking at my yeah. phone. It's just crazy. Like computer, all those things. And I'm like, yeah. what? If these things could be taken away. There's this show we watched and they were trying to make two people meet. It's, guys, I don't know if you've seen it. It's called Love is Blind. Somebody introduced me to it, like the series. And in that, trying to get two people to meet each other, yeah? They yeah. took away all their phones. Because they just said, phone has a way of breaking things like relationship yeah. Yeah. so phone was not part of that That's for right. months they took away their phone they yeah. just wanted them to be themselves like chat and talk we you didn't know? have we didn't have phones phones yeah no, no, i remember when i was growing up there was no phone i remember when yeah. phone came out yeah. and people then it was walkie talkie right and if yeah. you had it you were so rich yeah i remember in nigeria i don't know about here but oh yeah it was a long time before yeah. we had mobile phones, phones. and not everybody had even yeah. house phones. Uh huh. That was a long time yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. I wish we could go back, but I don't think we can go back. I think the world is just moving very fast. Yeah. Okay, so, and this question is people always say this in the comment section. Why do you always look dressed up and lovely 24 7? And I know it's true. Not just for videos, Granny is always like you always made up. <laughs> Even when she's going nowhere. What? Not so much when I'm in the garden. <laughs> I know, no, let's remove the garden, yeah? yeah? When you're not in the garden. I know yeah. you dress up. Yeah. Even to go to Tesco, as that, to go to the shop, Granny dresses up, like, literally dressed up. But I know sometimes I go outside and I'm wearing, what kind of, dressing gown. <laughs> and Granny's like, why would you wear that? Guys, I don't mean to the shop. I don't wear dressing gown to the shop. Let me I like... hope not. <laughs> No, 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 but I know that sometimes, guys, I'll just wear, like, whatever. And Granny's like, you need to look good. Look it's uh, just taking pride in your appearance. Appearance, yeah. Yeah, just take a bit of pride. I was brought up in the west of Scotland. Yeah. I worked, I went to college and I worked in Glasgow. Uh -huh. And the people of Glasgow were always very nicely dressed up, ah. very much so. You would never have gone to town looking looking somehow, as you <laughs> really? say. Somehow. No, you would always, wow. have, and things had to coordinate. Yeah, and, you need to match. And when you went to work, you know, wow. if you had a red coat, you had black shoes and black handbag wow. and, and or wow. whatever color went with it. and. Um, Yes, you looked very smart. Yeah. And to go to work, you you usually had a not that I could wear one now a pencil <laughs> skirt and a yeah. nice blouse and and looked really smart. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So so why and why always, always makeup and always I've always worn makeup. Yeah. yeah. Granny's always looking like dressed up. And I know you used to say it to me, sometimes when I when we go to visit Granny, right, and David is coming back from work and I'm just looking, maybe I'm even wearing my nightie around 2 p.m. Like, it drives Granny crazy. Like, she's like, 
Go and look good for your husband. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, honestly, like, I'm, I, like, I, I'm planning or working on myself to be that way. But sometimes I can't be bothered. I'm just like, and it's not good because that's the thing most ladies do. You feel like, oh, I've met my husband, so what's the point? You know, like. And you're just oh, like whatever. You must, you, you must, must continue. You must continue to do. So that. I remember when I met David New, like I can't be wearing a dressing gown. I won't want to look that way. Like I would Absol- always, no, yeah. Absolutely not. Uh, no. So guys, I need to. You get up start. in the morning, you shower, <laughs> and you get dressed. Exactly. Honestly, guys, sometimes ten p ten a.m. You thought what's ten a.m. twelve p.m. I'm still wearing my night and ready. Like you've not had a shower. Honestly, it drives her crazy. I know it does. I know it drives you crazy. And like, she's like, you have to go and dress up and look good. I have to, yeah, I have to start doing that. So why do you always look that way? Why do you always look good? It's something you, you've you always done. So yeah. you're used to it. So that's good. What's your best makeup products? The best makeup products. It's very difficult to say over the years. Um... Most products are very good, mm-hmm. but from choice, I probably would say I like Estee Lauder. Mm-hmm. That would be my favorite. Mm-hmm. Now I'm giving them a plug. But, yeah, I know, I but, know, yeah. But yes, I think over the years, I would go. They are expensive. Yeah, now, yeah. And they've got more expensive. But they are good. Uh, yeah, good that quality. would be my, yeah. my, my favorite. Good, so, yeah. But. There's been really good products over the years. Are way back, you know. Coty was very good. Mm. But they are no longer. Yeah, I've never around. Heard of you still can get, I think, the urgent by Coty Limon, but that they were very good. And there were some others that were Yardley mm. was also yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yes. But it's a mix and match. Yeah, thing yeah. Nowadays, nowadays um, it just mix up. And what you can afford. Exactly. And if you don't live in a city. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't buy the better, well, more expensive they, yeah, products. More expensive. You have to go for the sort of no, the regular the regular ones. That you can either buy in the maybe like your boots brand or boots brand. Kind of stuff, yes. yeah. and they're very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they have Primark makeup, but I don't think I. But no. I'm really. not saying so Primark. Sorry, if you see this yeah. video, I'm not saying it's not good, but. You know what I mean, like yeah, but no, I don't I have, have a smooth face, so for me, I'm particular about my powder. It has to be a good powder, yeah, for me, because my face is not smooth, so I can't just go and buy a cheap powder. I have to buy like Mac. Yeah. That's what I use for. Yes, yeah. it, well, you find the you find the product that is, that suits you um, suitable for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, and what's the best thing about being a granny, and how did it change you? <laughs> That's a nice question. Oh, I think the best thing. That just it's just so it's lovely. True. Um it's it's something most women I think would aspire exactly. to. Exactly. I, 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 <laughs> I think so. Um and I suppose the good thing at the end of the day is they're not totally your responsibility. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can hand them back. back. That's where everyone That's where every says, granny, yeah. Says. You have that but, moment of But they are such a joy and to see them um developing is, yes. is, is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And how did it change you? Did it change you in any way? You used to be strict and it now made you I oil. think I think you you do tend to indulge your grandchildren. Um you know you have to be strict in a way, but you do indulge them. Yeah. You do, and you probably let them away with things that you this, didn't let your own children Exactly, away with. Yeah. yeah. Every granny did that. Yeah. Oh, every, yeah. 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 And what is the hardest part about being a mother? Like, you know, like, for example, like, did you feel bad letting David go? Not like letting him go. You know what I mean? Like, did you feel like, what's the hardest part about being a mother? Oh, you don't have any... I don't think there's anything hard about being a mother. Wow. But I think as your child gets older, mm-hmm. you just worry about them because they're yes. part of you. So you you worry about them that they're safe. Mm-hmm. If they're driving a car or whatever wow. they're doing, you hope that 
they don't get into bad company. Yeah. And I think that's probably the most difficult thing because well, you worry about that. At the end of the day, as long as they're happy. Yeah, that, that's what uh, matters. That's what matters. You yeah. know, I used to think about it, you know, like I have three girls. I used to imagine, when I, like when I look at you, I'll be like, how did you guys, like how did, you know, like granny scale through that part of worrying about children? Because I used to imagine like when I leash them, I all grown. How will I be, like, will I be worried? You know, like, if they are yeah. out and about, where oh, are yeah. they? You oh, know, yeah. are they okay? Yeah, I, I just, think, I just used to yeah. say, I don't know how it's going. Yeah. Like, I think you have kind of to have a, crazy. A, a rapport with your children. Yeah. And set some ground rules and just say, if you're going to be later, well, nowadays you know. it's easy, they can lift a phone Uncle. and say, I'm not going to be for it. And I think that's the good thing. Just mm -hmm. let you know what. So back in the days, no phone. So your child no could go away. Yeah. You can't we, reach we, I was. I mean, oh I lived in gosh. the. I lived in the country, but nobody worried because we were quite safe. Yeah. <coughs> and you I would, like country. <coughs> and you would go out in the morning and come back at meal times, and nobody asked you where wow. you'd been. But we'd have probably just been playing in a burn or, or um, with some other children. We weren't wow. doing any harm. Yeah. But. Our parents seem to know we were okay, but mm -hmm. I think nowadays it's a different society. It's scary these days, yes, you know. Yes, The child goes out here like, yeah, where you are want they? to know where they're yeah. going and uh, who they're going with. And our boys have been very lucky. They have and they've really been good. good friends, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. extremely good friends. Um, there was a lovely lot of a lot of boys in their classes at school. And um, they all got on very well, mm -hmm. and they were all nice. Yeah, and they were really good, good standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the countryside. I feel like it's more quiet and peaceful. Yeah, <laughs> like busy town. And then, um, how is she as a daughter-in-law? <laughs> Crazy. <And> I <laughs> Absolutely crazy. <laughs> okay, I, what kind of what kind of stuff? What kind of crazy stuff? <laughs> I think maybe I won't go into that, but no, she's a very good mother. <laughs> she's an extremely good mother, and um, she's a bit scatterbrain sometimes. A bit what? Scatterbrain. Okay, like doing so many things at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> the good thing is. I can tell her what I think. And yeah, she does, yeah. She does exactly. That. Granny yeah. is very open with me. There is no patching up or you know, yeah. like no, yeah. like oh yes, we are good. No, like yeah. <laughs> I treat her like my own children. <laughs> but when you she say crazy, is. people want to know what the crazy means now. Well, she okay, just give one up, one, one, one example of the crazy. She phones me up. She phones <laughs> me up and pretends she's somebody else. And thinks I won't and know who it is. And um <laughs> I called I called Granny. I always do it. I call Granny and I'll be like, Hello, I'm calling from the council. I want to know about your bills. And she's like, Who is this? <laughs> I'm going to drop the phone on you. I always do that, yeah. I always do that. And then I do pranks on you. Yeah, she does. You don't like the pranks, yeah? No. The granny is more aware now. Each time I come in, she's looking around for a camera. So Yeah, you're right. I need to get a GoPro, the very tiny camera that I can no. stick to my body. And you won't know. <laughs> so how do you see the pranks, though? They are not funny, yeah? Some are funny, but some are too serious. Yeah, but I do laugh. I know. <laughs> and then... How did you raise a son like David because he's a great guy? It's true. Like I, I, I always ask that question, like how did Granny raise have knowing that you have two boys, right? And how did you raise them to become oh it wasn't really I don't know. Just to teach one you of know, the, like one of the most important things is to teach children to have respect for others. Mm -hmm. Absolute respect and to see good in people and and not to um, just and be patient. So raising them, it wasn't difficult. No, the, ah. they, the two brothers got on extremely well mm -hmm. and didn't fight. I don't mm. remember them fighting. Wow. Whether they did, 
<laughs> when I didn't place. see them, I don't know. But I didn't have to uh, wow, that's good. sort out fights. Or oh, that's anything. good. No, they were very good. That was um, really good. Very different. Very different. Very yes. different. Very different. I feel like Alan is more quiet. He's not that quiet. Not quiet, maybe like he, introvert. Yeah, he's... Uh, not he, really an introvert, but like borderline introvert. Yeah, but he is... Um, he's very loving and caring yeah. as well and but david yeah. is more like david is the kind of person that is so social he can actually blend in anywhere yeah he's very social so i remember when we went to nigeria he was just chatting up some nigerian men you know like oh yeah he's very like he's like that he enjoys it <laughs> he does things like that yeah yeah and so um what is the easiest way so this is now like we are asking you now what's the easiest way to get your relationship with your mother-in-law on the right track the reason this question came come, came up is because most people don't get on well with their mother-in-law most times in nigeria as well or in the world right is it is it also here most times there's always this clash yeah not, not there's there's a natural clash obviously you know like because these are like two different families sometimes person will say i want this i don't want this you know like it's like just a little but i mean like the major some people have like major you know, like disagreements with their husband's family, and it's like a fight. Some people are just like a, an open fight. Yeah. People keep malice. People end up not even talking to each other. That's yeah. so like it gets to that point. So, what's the easiest way to? What do you think to? You know, have a good relationship with mother. Just be very open, open. with each other, mm -hmm. and if you don't like something, say it. Mm -hmm. Say, I think you're mad, or I think. Yeah. You're, uh, <laughs> Um, and say, you know, no, you shouldn't really do that. Yeah. No, it was really none of my business. But yeah, um, uh, yeah just be. And be I yourself. Think, yeah? Be yourself. Yeah. And I've said to everybody, I just treat you the same as I would treat, mm -hmm. the, bo treat the boys. Yeah. Um, so that, that's, yeah. you know. I feel like, like the openness and being yourself is very important yeah. so that. Yeah. Everybody will know this is you, yeah. this is how, you know, and people will walk together. And if, if something is bothering you from either side, mm -hmm. you should say, say it out, um, yeah. because it doesn't help not to, you mm -hmm. know, it doesn't help not mm -hmm. to. Yeah, that was a nice one. And the last question is, what is your word or what word do you have for mothers out there? Like young mothers, middle age, I don't know, like all mothers. What's your word? Because these days we really it's a lot. Especially here in the UK. You know in Nigeria we have helps, right? So in Nigeria as a mom, you can you can hire like a nanny help. You can easily get that. But here it's expensive, you need to pay a nanny like they are professionals. Yes. Kind of. So what's your word to mothers out there? Because most times moms complain these it's, days. It's it's very. I was very fortunate. So, what's your word for um, moms? Because these days we kind of. It's very hard for for young moms now. Yeah. Because I think I think one of the things you shouldn't think you've got to keep up with everybody else. Mm -hmm. Like you, a competition. No, you know? don't have a competition. Mm -hmm. You can only do what you can afford, and. Um, you know live within your means that that's really yeah, important, very important yeah. um just love and your be children happy. and be happy mm -hmm. and it is hard for people who who are having to work and having to and to get the priorities right mm -hmm. which what they do and what they don't do it, it's very very difficult because it gets crazy sometimes yes, you, know? you don't have time difficult. to chill out yeah okay. i mean i i i was busy because of my husband's job because mm -hmm. I, I, in certain situations mm -hmm. i had to cater a lot but um you just just don't let things get on top of yeah you, you know and just be um, happy yeah just try and be happy um as well and you know um i've been very fortunate yeah yeah, yeah. granny i have to start dressing up like granny please guys just pray for me <laughs> i need to start wearing things like this like you know just keep up with my outfits yeah. and dress up for my husband absolutely <laughs> because sometimes when david comes back guys i'm not joking i have a bonnet on and 
in night. Why? Why? <laughs> and Karen is like, why would you wear a bonnet around 2 p.m.? Guys, you know what I mean? I can't be bothered. Like, I dress up, yeah? Like, now we're doing a video, yeah? I'm dressed up. But, like, real life. But you know some people who actually dress up like this and... and yeah. You know, like, and yeah. be, it would be their normal day. You wouldn't dress up like this if you were going to start painting your walls or... or <laughs> Dig the garden for yeah, yeah. I'd probably put a lipstick on. Yeah. But Granny puts or a lipstick on yeah. in the garden. Well, and also makeup because it protects you. Mm. You know, if you're outside in the weather. So if you put on a foundation or something, it does protect your face. But um you know I don't different one. Oh I need to charge this, okay? Yeah, so I have to start looking good. I feel like it's very important for everybody to look good yeah. yeah so guys let's know in the comment section what do you i'm coming <laughs> name is here guys okay guys if you enjoyed this video drop us a comment to the comment section and let's know what do you think about you know okay come and stay with me all right guys so we've come to the end of today's video if you enjoyed it, remember to drop us a like, drop us some comments in the comment section, and remember to subscribe to this lovely channel. And we love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.